I see thee, my friend, a longing, luscious stare, and I dream of thee out of thy underwear. <laughs> when thou looks me closely in mine eyes, I feel a tingly feeling in my thighs. Methinks, what's it like for you, my dear? With goddess, god, alone do you prefer? Were it me, soft kisses on thy wrist, thy breath, creamy thighs open slowly at my behest. Go this further than the words spoken right here? Tis fair of me? Of this I am not sure, for the oath spoken to my husband long ago. Monogamy for us, tis the law, you know. Oh, so hot. <laughs> Is it all right for me to fantasize about her? Is it fair to her? Is it fair to my husband? I've been monogamous for 20 years now. Why is it that word doesn't sound fun? <laughs> Monogamy, monotony, monopoly, lobotomy. I don't mean to be disrespectful. We've had a successful marriage. We've got uh, two kids, three cats, a sailboat. And I can't help but wonder, who is this all for? It's really kind of strange me being um, around this tantra group of people being monogamous and all. I mean, here's this uber loving group of people that would happily kiss or press or hold or grope me if I wanted them to, if I just ask. At least I think so. I'm not really sure because I haven't gone to any of these poly events because I'm monogamous. <laughs> The thing is, though, um, I really do like girls. <laughs> They're soft lips. I especially crave girls in the winter, and this summer has been so wintry. <laughs> shenanigans on stage. The things you can get away with in the name of art. <laughs> I like to think of myself as poly thespian. Socially acceptable form of poly. <laughs> think about it, Annette Manning, Angelina Jolie. They're all poly on screen, and these are these are dynamic, powerful, exciting women. Like me. <laughs> For 20 years, I've been able to perform on stage with the support of my husband. I can do anything I want. The only thing is, he hasn't seen any of my recent performances because he doesn't really want to know what's going on. But he supports me completely. <laughs> so, in this past year of Tantra Theater, as I have been so open and free on stage, <laughs> Inside, I'm in a turmoil. Can I have my cake and eat it too? Yeah. Or would that leave too many crumbs in the bed? <laughs> to be poly or stick with monogamy, that is the question. Whether it is nobler to enjoy intimacy with but one man or with a sea of women as well him. Shall I bargain now with he who is my mate, so women once again I get to date? For though these twenty years have been so good, still I desire others in my hood. <laughs> or would I be gone so much out on a lark, the family left withering in despair? Is it best this be but a happy fantasy? On what outcome will we both agree?
is your intention for today's session? I want to have a vibrant, loving, communicative, attentive relationship. And you, Michael? To get out of the relationship. <laughs> How do you feel about that? You know, all these years, you've told me you've never slept with any other women. Are you cheating on me? I've been with 13 other women, all of our closest friends, and just last week I was with the cute French neighbor up the street. <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> oh, Lucia. Even though you're my babysitter, you're also my best friend. My husband and I were just at a mediation. He told me that he's been sleeping with 13 of our best single women friends. And just last week, he slept with Marie, our French neighbor. And what's the matter? You're turning white. Are you sleeping with him, too? No, I wouldn't do that because of my relationship with you. Oh, that's good. Well, I know it's been really stressful since the hurricane. My husband's going on a seminar this weekend to Orlando. Why don't you go and just lay out by the pool and relax? That would be nice. Have a great time. Hello, Michael. Hello, Ray. There is something I must say. <laughs> I'm in love with the babysitter. For the, a year now, we've been stooping. Please don't hit her. <laughs> For a whole year, you've been snoring. That means cheating. And your dear wife, you're ignoring. Seven long years with no loving. It's a wonder I'm not pushing you and shoving. Please don't go, oh my father, please. Don't go, oh my father, don't. Leave us without a parent where we won't have anyone to care. Please stay home, oh my father, work things through. We think you ought to, we'll be good. We'll do the dishes cool. We'll even get ourselves to school. <laughs> we'll be moving to a new house, walking distance. That's great, you louse. And I'm wondering about the money. Pay the child support and alimony, honey. <laughs> After singing in temple choir about sinners, cheats, and liars, I went next door, group meditation. We massaged each other's bodies, what elation. <laughs> oh, how nice it felt to be touched. I had missed it so much. There was one guy there who really got me, says he wants to set my body free. Hold me tight and be my lover. Show me things under the covers. We'll stay here with my kids so they'll know how very much I love them so. So he came by and he fixed things, helped with dinner, gave my heart rings. We both painted pretty pictures. For the first time, I liked sex and felt so nurtured. <laughs> Things are better. I'm a lover and expenses I can cover. Let's be friends now for the duration. We can watch the kids while you are on vacation. 